What's up YouTube fam? Hopefully this thing is focusing. If you are wondering why the camera is so far away, I'm holding a selfie stick. Um, well, it's a one-legged tripod, which I'm using for a selfie stick. Alright, so you already know what this video is about. You've already seen the title. This is episode four. Yeah, episode four of my Lean Book series. And I wanted to speak to you guys about why is it important to eat before and after your workout. Um, so before we go ahead and start, let me go weigh in on you guys right quick. Remember I said I want to stay between 253 and 258. Alright, so let's see where we at. See that? I'm zoom in the camera. Boom, 254.8. All right, so why is it important to eat before your workout? One, me personally, I'm just, I need some type of fuel and something to give me energy to get me through the workout. Um, I don't want to go through my, I don't want to go to my workout on empty stomach to the point where I'm feeling weak, able to uh, to perform. So, so the reason why you want to eat before your workout is for energy purposes. All right. Um, so let's say you're doing legs, which is one of the biggest muscle groups on your body. You you don't want to eat, you know, three hours prior to doing legs. What's gonna happen is you're gonna feel hungry, you know, you're gonna feel weak during the workout and you won't be able to go as hard as you want, all right? So, uh, personally, I like to eat an hour before my workout. Some people might eat maybe two hours before the workout. So, what you wanna have is a complex carb. The reason why complex carbs, yo, this fucking selfie stick is heavy as shit. Um, anyways, you know, the camera's heavy as shit, but this is why we go to the gym. The reason why you wanna have a complex carb before the workout because complex carbs digest a lot slower than simple carbs like something like white rice or white potato. So you wanna have a complex carb like a sweet potato or brown rice and you wanna mix that with some protein um, with uh, either chicken, fish, steak, any um, any complex carb mixed with some protein. So you can either have some sweet potatoes, uh, brown rice, some quinoa. Um, sometimes I have a, an, an Ezekiel bread um, peanut butter sandwich with some chicken breasts. Um, so you want to mix that complex carb with a protein source. It can be chicken, fish, uh, some some lean ground beef, some lean ground turkey. Uh, what else? Um, whatever your uh, you know your preferred uh, your, your preferred option your preferred option of uh, protein sources. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I what I normally have before my workout. I keep it really simple. Let me show you guys right now. guys so here you have my uh, pre-workout meal so I'm gonna eat this um, an hour before the workout I have my uh, complex carb and my uh, protein source which is the seven ounces of uh, chicken here um, so this should provide me with enough fuel to last um, throughout the workout um, so I should really be able to push it and kill my shoulder workout for the day. Um, here I have my creatine, which I also take pre-workout, and I'm also going to take this post-workout as well. Also, I take this post-workout with my post-workout shake. I mix it with my post-workout shake. Um, so what creatine does, it uh, it pushes, um, it aids with with, with uh, recovery and also uh, strength. Um, also, creatine also has the ability to kind of make you look bigger, not much as helping you um, put on muscle, but it pushes more water into the muscle cells, which gives you that full look, which kind of makes you look bigger. So if you ever wonder what creatine does, here you go. Um, so, and also I'll take this hit amino, some one up nutrition, um, which I always take before my workout. And I also mix it with this thermogenic um, for an extra kick, because because this has some caffeine in it. Um, also, I like the uh, the thermogenic effect. It gives, it gives me a good sweat. Um, while I'm working out. Hope you guys got some uh, valuable information from that, and I'll catch you guys at the Yo, reporting live from the selfie stick. Just reached the gym. Um, giving you guys a selfie stick view. Check this thing out. Pretty cool.
came back from my workout. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have post-workout, which is my post-workout shake. And I wait about an hour to have my post-workout meal. And the reason why you wanna have uh, your whey protein post-workout because it aids in the recovery process. And also um, keep in mind while you're working out, you're breaking down muscle and to aid in that muscle rebuilding process and the recovery process, the, uh, you need something uh, something that the body can di digest real quickly, a protein source that the body can digest real quickly, and this is why whey protein is the way to go. All right, so, um, and also the uh, reason for the fruits is to restore your glycogen stores because your sugar levels drop while you're working out. You wanna spike your insulin, and it's gonna help the, the body transfer those nutrients from the protein to where it needs to go a lot faster and more efficiently. So my post-workout shake consists of two scoops of whey protein. Um, I was gonna show you guys, but fuck that, I'm not gonna show you guys. You guys have already seen my uh, my shake video. Um, so my uh, post-workout shake consists of um, two scoops of whey protein, um, some 1% milk, uh, what else? One scoop of creatine, um, you wanna have a creatine post-workout, um, and also pre-workout. Uh, what else? And I have also some strawberries, some fruits, which um, which help me rep uh, replenish my glycogen stores. So yeah, so you want to have your protein, some simple sugars, something like fruits. A Gatorade is also good. And also I mix my, if you're taking creatine, you want to take your creatine post-workout as well. And I always mix it with my uh, post-workout shake. Uh, what else I have in there? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have for my post-workout meal. All right, y'all, so this is what my post-workout meal looks like. I have my quick absorbing carbs, which is the white rice, and I have my protein source. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna wait about an hour. Um, I just had my uh, post-workout shake. Um, so I'm gonna wait about an hour to eat this. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I just wanted to pull it out to show you guys what it looks like. Um, all right, so this is what my post-workout shake looks like. I have this dimatized whey protein. Um, I have two scoops of that. I have one cup of milk, 1% milk. Um, I also have one scoop of creatine post and pre-workout. And I have my fruits, which is these mixed berries um, that I use to uh, replenish my glycogen stores. And I'll combine that with the, uh, with the shake, right? All right. All right, so I hope you guys got some information with the video. Um, I'll be making more of it, more videos just like it. Um, so uh, my next video, I don't know when I'm gonna release it, but it's gonna be soon. Give me about, give me about three days. Um, so go ahead and like, share. Hopefully this thing is focusing. Go ahead and like, share. Hey, I hope you guys like this new selfie stick, man. I'm really loving this shit, like to be honest with you. I don't even need, I don't even need nobody to record me anymore. One man show, baby. All right, anyways, um, go ahead and like, share, and yeah, like, share, and subscribe to my shit, all right? Um, more videos to come. Thank you guys for liking and watching my crazy videos. I'm still getting used to this YouTube thing. I'm finally getting comfortable in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, um, online coaching, emails at the bottom. Shoot me an email, let's get to work. Let's get you to that next level if you're ready, all right? Peace out.